Hey what's up, this is Gizmo and today we're going to review a brand new app. Thank god it got approved. It is Firefox Home. The web browser that killed Internet Explorer is finally here on your iPhone. But does it measure up to the same desktop experience? Let's find out. So basically when you first load up the app, um, you need to have a Firefox Sync account. So um, I have an account, you can have instructions sent to you, so you just pop in your email and it will send it to your email. But I'm going to log in here with my Sync account. If you don't have a Firefox Sync account, you can get the add-on for Firefox, of course. Install the add-on. Just restart Firefox. So basically here when you get to the screen, you can say you never used Sync before or you're already using sync on another computer, no, you like your laptop or your work computer or something like that. So here's your first account where you sign up. Quickly just sign up and it'll be, you'll be right on your way. So once you log in, if you just created an account, you, you enter your information and you log in and basically right here you're home. You can search your tabs, you can search your bookmarks. So let's say I want to check out Gizmo. Um, this will take me to our history, um, everything that is synced right up to my computer. Um, it's pretty cool. So tabs, right now these are the same exact tabs I have open on my computer. So if I type in a website that I want to visit and I'm looking at it here on my desktop, I can type it in and say I have to leave the house real quick and I want to you know, save this bookmark. So I'm going to go up to tools and I'm going to sync it. So when you get back down to the iPhone, you can see that the tabs did not update. You need to go down here to settings, tap settings and click refresh. It will resync the information and when you go back it should take you right to the page that you left off uh, on your desktop. So you basically have the four buttons down here. This is tabs. It's a quick look at tabs. We're going to show you bookmarks which um, if you have them organized by folder, you can have them organized in folder. Uh, you can have them organized you know, any way you want. If you're doing it on your desktop, vice versa, you can sync it up. These are my website files, uh, bookmarks here. And you know, if I wanna go to check out the blogs that I have, I have every single blog that I have saved on my desktop. So this is not your typical web browser app. Um, you can't type in you know, a website and go say I want to check out Disney.com. It's not there. It's not in my history from my desktop so it's not going to come in here. This is not a URL bar. You can search tabs, books, bookmarks, and your history from your experience on your desktop. So. Uh, it's convenient and at the same time if you want to use this as your browser you really can't but I'll show you one thing that you can do if you are on this website that I previously synced up um, you know you could scroll through here you can hit the reload button back and forward and then simply you could tap this to email it copy the URL or view in Safari so we're going to check it out in Safari and see how it looks on here And there you go, you get the page basically loading up. And if we want to go back to Firefox Home, we can. So you have your basic back and forward buttons here. You can tap on a show right here. It'll load the next page. And if I want to go back, I can. It loads somewhat fast. Um, it's not exactly like the Opera Mini app that, you know, doesn't require, doesn't reload everything. You can do it manually on Opera Mini. You can do it manually here, hit refresh, and you go, it reloads all the information. Like I said, you got all your bookmarks here. You have access to all that type of stuff. It shows you your unsorted bookmarks. It shows you bookmarks menu, and then any folders that you may have created that you can um, you know, go through and look. And here's just basic information, how many bookmarks we have, how many files we have in history, and you know you could always just tap refresh after you sync it up. So that's a quick look at Firefox Home. Um, it's a 
pretty basic. It's kind of cool because it syncs up your desktop in this somewhat of a browser. Um, it's not really made to be a, a replacement browser. If you want to check a website on here, you really can't. Unless you have bookmarks, you know, a lot of times I don't even enter websites. I just go, you know, right to my bookmarks and, you know, I'll find something that I need to read and, um, you know, and that's it. And I don't really have to enter many websites. Firefox Home is available on the iPad, iPod Touch, and the iPhone, of course. Um, check it out. It's definitely worth, um, you know, at least browsing and downloading the app to see what it's got. You could definitely see this app being, um, you know, useful if you're, you know, on your computer and you need to, you know, check a website and say you're here and you just want to, you know, sync your tabs and run out the door. Maybe you want to check up and read the rest of your information later because it's a lot of stuff to read on the web and uh, it's convenient, it's interesting, and I can't wait to see what other updates they add to it and uh, that's pretty much it. This has been a Gizmo video. We're signing out. Please subscribe to our videos and visit our website, imgizmo.com, and uh, we'll see you soon.